Hey YouTube, welcome to my Play the Bots series on chess.com. And we are almost out of the beginner bracket here. We've knocked off everybody um, up to this point. We now have Kareem ranked 850. And so far we haven't taken any losses. We've been able to run the table on these beginner levels. So cream will be the last one, and then we'll start getting into this little more difficult competition into the thousands here. But before we do that, we got to get through Kareem. Kareem loves to move the F pawn to give his king a bit of breathing room. His coaches tell him that it's a risky strategy, but not, not many of his opponents can prove it. So he's going to be wanting to move his uh, F pawn, most likely. So if he plays black, we may see this. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Well, we're black, so let's see what he moves. He moved his F-palm. <laughs> let's see. What's the best way to counter this? Um, we could do D6, E5. I think we're going to see probably E4 next. can't push e5 because that doesn't work. Let's grab the d file. Hmm. I can bring my knight out. I can attack his queen. Of course, it could block. Let's develop our knight and getting ready to push the E palm. So if I push E, now he's going to have two defenders. So to counter that, what if I push my F palm? He can't really bring anything else to bear on this. Well, he could. That's probably what they would do. We could try to pin. Okay, what can we do here? Can't do that. Well, let's try it. I think. Well, let's 
not what I was expecting. Can't do that, so we've got to break the pin first. I think we can push the middle now. Wondering if we can set up a, an attack here on the center. <laughs> Don't really want to do that because that opens up my own king. I think we need to focus on development here. I have a hanging pawn here. So we could develop a knight and cover that pawn. And I can always advance this pawn and attack the knight. Need to develop and then we'll push. Well, we can't push now. Wow, this is going to be a tricky spot here. That pawn is still hanging. Well, it's not, but if I move my knight, I think I move my knight to uh, F5 here. But then we lose the pawn. I hate opening up the center like that. Don't think I've played this very well here.
Hmm. Yeah, getting outplayed here. Guess I could drop back to the edge for a minute. But I will lose this pawn. I'm going to lose this pawn either way. Unless I push this pawn up. In that case, I lose this knight. Well, let's see. If I push this pawn up. They capture knight. I can recapture. I think that might work. Just don't have any good spots for this bishop to go. I could look at f5, but if he decides to trade, I could do that. I was hoping to get rid of this pawn right here. It's hoping to attack here well he's probably gonna trade no he didn't so I will trade with him and grab this palm Take a pawn. I think I need to go ahead and grab this because if I wait, he can move his knight down. Mm. Move here, that's check. And he can't move here or here or stay here. He wouldn't be able to go here. He would have to move. And is this checkmate? If I move F2 check, his only option, he can't capture, his only option is D1. And then if I move to F1, he can't, still can't capture the queen and he can't retreat. I think that's checkmate. Right? He can't stay there. He can't move here or here or here. And he cannot capture the queen. Excellent. Well, we uh, got that one done in 17 moves, so that worked out well. Strange opening that I was struggling with there. Let's see how we scored. Yeah, 76. 
not the best, but I had one blunder, so I guess we'll have to find that. One blunder and one inaccuracy. So where did we blunder? So there was my inaccuracy. I could have uh, pressured this knight and it would have opened up this line of attack on the king. So there was the blunder. Knight to b4 is best. Okay, well, a little baffled on that. I'm sure there's a logical reason why that was considered a blunder, but we got the win, so next game we'll be stepping it up. We'll be getting into the intermediate range against Emir here. So we'll see how we hold up as it gets a little tougher. We're jumping from 850 up to 1,000. So competition's starting to ratchet up to my level or actually a little bit above me at the moment. <laughs> so anyway, there's a window to your top right if you want to follow this series. And there's a subscribe button to your top left. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next game.